Thank you, Rohan. Thanks, uh, everyone. I think I'm getting to the best part of the conference, at least my favorite one. Um, um, actually, my favorite part of the year. As I said, I really enjoy uh, uh, part of what we do. Actually, Rohan didn't mention it, but part of what we do is rewarding our contributors and our uh, uh, members. And so, Without further ado, you've been waiting all day to hear from Rob who are the actual certified FDC3 providers. Please. Hi, everyone. Hi. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> right. Um, yes. Uh, so as I teased in the keynote earlier, uh, we now have desktop agents passing the FDC3 1.2 conformance tests. And this is a culmination of a huge amount of work from the organizations involved in the testing. So uh, Scott Logic provided implementations of the tests, and the whole FTC3 community really you know, came together and like, defined and approved the test packs. So let's recognize that effort. Uh, please come up on stage and collect your awards uh, for conformance. They are Finos Silver Member Cosaic with their Finsomble product. Uh, <laughs> We've got uh, Tick42 with their Glue42 Enterprise product and their Glue42 Core Plus browser extension, both making use of well, uh, Glue FDC3 version 2.6.0. And also the open source FDC3 Sale Finos project being maintained by Nick Colber and Seb Mabags. Nick, can you come up? <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. Congratulations. Thank you. And Nick, last but not least, thank you for your contributions to the standard and to the sales project. Thank you. There you go. And thank you, Rob. It's okay. Thanks for the delivery. Um, great. This is a milestone for us. This is our first certification program, and we're really happy to have our first certified vendors. Um, we expect, as you know, over time to have the 2.0 version certified. So stay tuned uh, uh, as we certify more vendors and more versions of the standard, and maybe more standards. Moving on. Uh, uh, as I said, this is my favorite part to award the community, but. I think James, our director of community, deserved for all the work that is done this year to nurture them. Thank Please. you very much, Gab. So, did I hear a clap? I think I <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, thank you, everybody. Um, so, the community within Finos is absolutely growing. You can see that by how many people there are at the end of a long conference. So, thank you, everybody, for being here, and you know, uh, add into the success of Finos. Year on year, we're absolutely growing, which actually makes um, my job of finding award winners a lot more satisfying because the amount of information that there's out there in order to find out you know, who's contributing and who is adding to the success of the foundation is just absolutely phenomenal. So we're going to start um, with the Shining Star Award. Um, now, this is an um, award which is given to the project that is demonstrating all of those star clicks in the top right-hand corner of GitHub. So if you're ever using a project and you absolutely kind of want to give it kudos, all of those stars do actually count for something. And so within the last year, this project has had like a really sharp um, spike in the, in the stars that it has received. And so I'd like to call to the stage the legend team. So, Legend team, if you're here. Well done, Goldman Sachs team. If you'd like to come up and receive your award, so it's more than one person. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. <laughs> I'll move the podium. Yeah, let's move, let's move up. Coming up, squeeze in. Congratulations, <laughs> remarkable effort. And there's a promo code on the back of the frame, so you can um, buy something from the Finos Swag Store. 
Now, this next award goes to an individual who has been engaging with Finos through marketing channels. Um, so Finos is, you know, multi-channel. You know, we encourage engineering in development, but we also love it when people spread the word about the foundation. Because if it isn't for marketing and other people who engage with the foundation and get the word out, the amount of people in this room today would, you know, it wouldn't be as big as it is today. So I would like to um, present this award to Mikhail Herskovitz from MEND. Um, and I'm going to present it to some of her colleagues because she couldn't be here with us today. With um, Finos being an international open source foundation, our colleagues in Israel need um, their colleagues in the US to claim their <laughs> awards for them. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, where would we be if it wasn't for all of those people who stand up bold and guide us all in the direction of open source, who actually unlock you know, our own abilities to contribute in a very, very difficult industry, highly regulated? We need people to go into their groups, find the engineers and all of the other people to come on out and actually um, be part of you know, the financial services open source um, community. So I would like to present this award, which as part of the DEI SIG, so the Diversity, Equity and Inclusion SIG, we've really made an effort to you know, get inside all of the OSPOs and other roles. So rather than handing it to engineers who we can see on the surface of the foundation, I would like to present this award to Cara Delia from Red Hat. <laughs> He has been phenomenal in bringing Red Hat right into Finos. So thank you very much, Cara. And Cara is also a co-lead of our open source readiness SIG now. So welcome to, welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an absolutely phenomenal award, the Newcomer Award. Um, we'd like to recognize people, you know, who are new to the Finos community and who contribute um, year on, well, for the very first time within that uh, annual cycle. It was phenomenal to see this person's contributions into the foundation and the amount of work um, that they've actually done. So this was recorded in data and there was a massive spike for both um, this person um, and also the firm that they represent. So I would like to present this to Olaf Kalander from Symphony, um, who is based out of Sweden. And so we have, um, uh, coming up, <laughs> Olivier. Olivier, sorry, Olivier. Coming up, Olivier. And, and <laughs> so a big round of applause for Olaf. And thank you for taking this back to Olaf. <laughs> Thank you, Olivier. So alongside all of the leads who do you know, amazing you know, work in order to unlock um, Teams for Finos, we need coaches on the ground you know, who actually show other developers and other people how to get involved in raising pull requests and closing issues, you know, and also you know, answering the questions that they get asked continuously. Now, this is going to more than one person because this group of individuals has been phenomenal. And you have seen the output of that project throughout this conference today. So the coaching award is going to the FDC3 maintainers. Um, so if there are any FDC3 maintainers, coming up, Nick, or anybody who would like to represent you know, the companies you know, who they, they are from, come on up and claim this um, award on behalf of um, your maintainers. So you stand in the middle, Nick. Georgie's getting married on Monday, so I'll give you his wedding present. Well done. Come on in. I think you're in front of the, the microphones there. Come on to, to your left. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Congratulations and well done for everything that you're doing.
So it's, it's for the entire maintainer team. We'll, we'll figure it out in a minute. <laughs> right, so the most active individual is the person who's been contributing continuously into the foundation, so year on year. Um, this is data-led, you know, so everything about this person absolutely lights, lights a spark on everything that they are contributing into the foundation. You know, it's, there is no dispute the amount of work that this person is putting into, into their project. And so I would, like to not, I would like to present the most active individual to Anne Fee um, from the Legend team and from Goldman Sachs. Congratulations, and thank you so much for your contributions. Thank you, and thank you, everybody. Please bring all of your contributors into the foundation. And with that, I'm going to hand back over to Gab. He's going to do the member awards. Yes. You thought you were done clapping? No. <laughs> oh, that's, that's an old picture. <clears throat> I did lose some weight over the pandemic, just in case. So yes, we uh, thank you, James, and, and thank you to our, all our contributors. Um, I actually need to make sure I know who am I giving the awards to. So, uh, oh, yeah, it's there. Cool. Um, so we talked about community, and you know, our projects and our community are the blood of what we do. Uh, but of course, our members are what allows us to you know, pay salaries at the end of the day and invest into the growth of this community. So we have a few global member awards. The previous were America specific. These are throughout the year across all of our members. Uh, and we have five awards. We're gonna start with the Spread the Word Award. Spread the Word Award. Um, which is again, as James said, about helping us spreading the word and spreading the message. Uh, I actually have seen a lot of activity today on social. Um, every year, this industry opens up to the fact that it's okay to put a tweet out there, I guess. Um, and so I want to award Cinecron for helping us organizing so many events this year. Can someone from the Cinecron team come? Thank you so much for all your contributions. Come here. Thank you. Now, this is one of the most interesting awards. Um, we measure activity of our members across multiple channels. Uh, as we discussed today thoroughly, it's not just about commits. But of course, commits are really important. Uh, and so this is across our commits, our meetings, our Slack channels, our documentation websites, our events. Um, and so I am very honored, not so far from their headquarters, to uh, announce Goldman Sachs as the most active member for this year. Who better than Rob? Congrats, Rob. Thanks. And thanks for all you do. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, leading the pack, um, as James discussed, it's not just about individual contributors. It's not just about being a maintainer, but it's also about teaching others and being a leader in the organization, oh, sorry, in your project. And across projects, honestly. This is an industry that is learning to do open source. Uh, there's do's and don'ts. There's uh, you know, weird quirks of open source people that you need to be aware of. And yes, there's also legal and compliance and IP requirements. And so uh, we're seeing our community cross-pollinating more and more. Uh, and so I'm really excited to bring on stage Kosek for the Leading the Pack Award. Been busy today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
for the outstanding work on FDC3 and so many other projects in Finnes. Thank you, Sarah, Thank you. and the whole COSAIC team. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, as we said, these are uh, global awards, and I do hope there's someone that will receive this award, because this award does, is not in the US. Um, this member joined us earlier in the year, and they really went all in. Um, they started contributing, they started joining us at our events, they started really massively engaging with our community and leading so many activities, and I actually think we're just at the beginning. So I would like to welcome on stage NatWest Group for our Going All In Award. Hey, Aaron. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And thank you so much for what you did, guys. Thank you. You can keep that one. So last but not least, um, we have folks who are able to contribute and folks that are getting there. And every year, we like to award the company that has made the most inroads in the open source readiness journey. Um, this company rolled their open source program office today, uh, this year, uh, as many uh, we've seen, uh, but we also have received our first contribution from this company. They are able now to contribute, and so I'm very, very excited to award Bank of Montreal with our Breaking the Status Quo Award. Anyone? Mike? Okay, I guess I'm going to take it back. <laughs> well, I'm sure Kim and Mike uh, will be happy to see Joanne taking a picture. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for your support, whoever is a member, for your financial support, and whoever is a contributor for your uh, uh, time and uh, uh, effort. So uh, you thought we were done. No, we're not. Uh, just a couple of closing remarks. I, uh, I showed these slides at a FinTech conference a couple of months ago um, to show how much, you know, fighting there's, is going on here. You know, we always discuss regulation versus deregulation. It's, it's legacy versus blockchains. It's, it's the banks versus the FinTechs. Uh, every failed and I guess that, that slide didn't age well after <coughs> FTX. But anyway, um, <laughs> the, the reason why I'm bringing this up is that uh, um, we have seen open source bringing folks together. And it's not just from a sort of people perspective, but when I joined this industry six years ago, I was really, you know, uh, not familiar with a lot of the complexities. And it seemed to me that open source had an opportunity uh, to really uh, harmonize an industry that is, you know, very much siloed. And as I see fintechs popping out right and left, I'm starting to get the distinct feeling that we're moving from a centralized mess to a decentralized mess, or from a centralized silo to a decentralized silo. And I kind of this goes back to what I was saying this morning, that we want to see more fintechs join the party. Because if we start adopting common APIs, common standards, and ideally common open source components, think about for regulation, uh, that is going to create a very different uh, environment and really a new generation of financial services. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of financial open source projects out there. I mean, I'm not sure what an open source repository is, but uh, um, there's plenty of code out there. But the role of our foundation is to make sure that we are able to bring it together in a harmonized way, in a way that you know looks more like this, for example. You know, have more and more of the layers uh, 
uh, in this industry being powered by open source. And again, these are just examples, don't be married exactly to the project, but just to say that in the foundation and out there, there's a lot of valuable code that you don't need to rebuild. And as a foundation, we can ensure that it's not in the wild, that we can support it. So if you know, if you're maintaining or you know of uh, uh, a valuable open source project out there, we're experiencing massive growth. So bring it to our attention and hopefully we can help both the maintainers as well as the sustainability and security of that project because there's a good chance that maybe you're already depending on it. Um, and so really wrapping this time almost. Um, we need your help. Um, there's few little things that you can start doing uh, or big things. If you can contribute, you know, go to our community website. Uh, it's extensive documentation on how you can get started. It goes through a journey of uh, uh, really how can you learn more about us to how you can engage in contribution, how you can become a leader in our foundation. Uh, Contribution is open to everyone. You don't need to be a member. Uh, I want to make it clear, I forgot to actually mention that. Of course, consumption is also free. This is open source. Um, but if you can't contribute just yet, sign up for our, for our newsletter. Get you know, updated uh, from our news. Uh, check out resources.finos.org. You're going to see on the back of, of all these project expos, we're really trying to put our projects in the context of production use cases. So you're going to see more and more uh, success stories, but we already have uh, a legend case study and a perspective case study. You know, take a look if, if that helps selling the value of open source within your organization. And ultimately, it takes some belief. It takes some... Uh, uh, um, you know, when we started six years ago, we didn't really think that we would get here. Uh, we hoped, we had a vision, uh, but I am really excited and I wanna really thank the whole Finos team for the fantastic job here and all the members and most importantly, you guys. Help us out. Uh, it's not gonna always be easy, so you gotta put some belief. I think Ted Lasso was pretty appropriate here. Um, and as we wrap, Finally, uh, we do have the reception tonight. Uh, we're almost running out of spots, but here's the QR code in case you want to get registered and join us after this. Um, but before I do that, now for real, so I'll let you go, but I want to bring on stage Jamie Siegel from the Open Innovation Network to give us a quick closing remark. Take your time. Uh, OIN is sponsoring the reception out here, and they are good friends of Phoenix and the Linux Foundation. So thanks for being on stage, Jamie. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Good evening. I have the uh, unenviable position of standing between you and drinks, so I will make it short. I'm Jamie Siegel. I'm the global lead of licensing for the Open Invention Network. For those of you that don't know us, we're a community of over 3,700 companies that have all joined our community for free in pursuit of our mission, which is to protect open source. Open source being open, um, Open Invention Network was started back in 2005 by uh, Sony, Philips, NEC, SUSE, Red Hat, uh, IBM. And they did that with the idea of bringing some actual teeth to the idea that open source would remain free in a world of intellectual property. And we grow, and our members all promise to cross-license e cross each other uh, with their patents related to the low-tech stack of open source, and it's a great uh, organization. Many of your members are already members, including um, GitHub, um, SMBC, RBC, in financial services in particular. In just the last few months, we've added Bank of America, the Clearinghouse, Scotiabank, we have Barclays, TD Bank, uh, many other financial uh, companies as the whole industry is coming, I mean, just this organization being six years old, the whole industry is really jumping into open source in a uh, very big way. and. Uh, they're finally waking up that we need to protect, be protected against aggressors in the space. So I highly encourage anybody to reach out. We're on the internet. I'll be around at the cocktail party along with some of my colleagues. 
And uh, in the words of uh, the head of IP at TD Bank, he said, this is really a no-brainer. I don't understand why everybody hasn't joined already. So uh, with that said, please enjoy your drinks. And every time you take a sip, remind yourself to join OIN. <laughs> I think we are done here. Thank you so much and enjoy the drinks. Please make connections and please follow up on this. This is just the beginning. Thank you. Thank you.